Hello everyone. Um, if you're watching the screencast and you might need some help with your Atlantic Slave Trade project, or you're just looking for some pointers using Google Earth. Now I know we've went, uh, at this point we've discussed it quite a bit, but using this screencast I know uh, things might become more clear, or if you just need um, some help using the software, I'll be more than happy to go through some of the basics. So as you know, what we're doing here, you've been given a specific country, you're going to be researching that country, finding its capital, finding where in Africa it went for its slaves, and where, uh, where it took these slaves in the New World, and then how it got back. At this point, all of you will have your sheet, um, and, and your handout, that is, and that should be used to record all of your information for your PowerPoint presentation. Now, one of the first categories there would be your home country, so if uh, you had England as your country, you would uh, obviously be doing someone different, you'd be doing a different area, that is, uh, than someone if it was doing Portugal. So, uh, the first step um, would be finding the capital of your city. So, uh, we're going to find England, which is up here, and using either the scroll wheel of your mouse, or on the side here, you can zoom in to your country. Um, if you've done the research, you'll know that um, London is the capital of England and was back during those times as well. So what we're going to do um, is make a place mark for this country. Now I've already done so, but if you want to do that, all you do is click at the top here, add place mark, type in the name of it, in this case it's going to be London. Um, you can drag the place mark itself around, um, around the map and over here you'll actually get the coordinates, also known as latitude and longitude. I already have this, but that's how you would add that. Now one of the best ways to keep yourself organized is over here, what I'd recommend you doing is creating a new folder for this assignment, which I've already done, and I've called it ACS assignment. So don't get too confused, but I'm going to open this up, and to save some time I've already uh, pretty much done all the work here. So I'm going to click London, and I'm going to check that off. And now you see this would be the place mark that you would have just added, I already have completed. Um, in the case of this though, just so um, you guys can't copy this as part of your project, I'm actually going to be using a different city. and I'm going to go Bristol. So Bristol's the port city um, I'm going to be mapping out. So I've added my place mark here. Now the, um, the place that I have uh, selected in Africa, however, is going to take a little bit of movement. So to zoom out, I'm going to scroll the wheel out. I'm going to click and drag myself all the way to Africa. Now, the west coast was typically where a lot of the slaves were uh, taken from. Um, so you're going to have to part, uh, do a lot of research to find. Uh, there's many areas. Some of them have different names. So again, you're going to have to research that. Now, the area that we're going to be going to is called Sherbro. So I'm going to find that. I've already created a place mark for that. As you can see, I've used a different color. You can customize that when you create it. Now, I obviously recommend using um, different uh, place marks than other groups. That way, when we put them all together, it'll be quite uh, easy to see. So, Sherbro has been located here. So, I'm gonna, that's already been added. Now, the next step is going to be completing uh, the path, so the journey. Now, it doesn't matter how accurate you are in this exactly by following the route, but if you can find that, that'd be great. So what you do, I'm going to do uh, Bristol here. You click Add Path. You click this here. Uh, for this, I would go Bristol to Sherbro. That's the name of the path. You click, and you can click another spot. Click another spot, and then click your destination. Now, in this case, this may not be accurate, but I'm just showing you how you click your path. So I'm going to cancel that. Another method of doing this is clicking again the path tool, clicking your uh, your um, where you're beginning, and actually dragging it. Now this you're actually drawing a route, which might look more realistic for the route of a ship. Either method is fine by me, and then you just go to your endpoint, which in this case will be Sherbro, not Lisbon. Um, but that's just an example here. Now I've already added this route before this to make it uh, easier, so I'm going to add that route in now. By on the left, I'm just clicking route I've created, which is Bristol to Sherbro, and the route I've already saved over here. So there's our route, and I've kept it yellow to match the country, which is England, and I've selected yellow as that color. Now to edit that route, you click, right-click on the route itself, 
and go properties and you can go color I've done yellow now to make it a bit bigger on the map I would suggest increasing the width of your root to at least two any more than that would be big within re any bigger than that within reason is fine by me so we'll cancel out of that so there's our first root it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward now the next uh, section of our journey is, is probably one of the biggest. This would be the slave's journey across the Atlantic to the New World. Now, depending on your country, they went to different spots in the New World. So, uh, for my uh, example, uh, many of the slaves were landed in New York. So I went over to New York and I added a place mark. In this case, um, I kept it gray. The root, however, is yellow to match our country. So here's New York over here. You'd follow the same idea with the uh, pathing tool. Again, I've already done that to save time. And I'm going to add that in now. It's called Sherbro to New York. And there we go. Now I have a route going all the way from Africa to New York. Now, this is important to remember because you're going to be required to find this, is the distance between these points. If you want to find that, you click on your route, right click, go to properties. Now on the far tab it'll say measurements. I want that number in kilometers and then you're gonna write that into your handout. So in this case it's over 5,700 kilometers um, which is as you can imagine quite a distance. Now I want the distance between each point and then also I want the total distance for a round trip. So on that note we're going from New York back home to Bristol for my example. So again, you already have these points, so it would just be one more path you would draw. Um, I would prefer a smooth path, and although I don't expect you to know the exact route of a ship, obviously you wouldn't be navigating up and around Newfoundland and going that way. It would try to be the most direct, uh, the direct route possible. So keeping with that, I'm going to add my final route, which is New York to Bristol, and there you have it. Now to zoom out, again you can use a scroll wheel if you have that, or use the tool over here. And now we get a perfect sense of what was known as the triangle trade, and as you can see it does form a sort of triangle. Now this is quite a route. Now to get the final uh, distance you would add up all the different routes and be sure to write that on your handout. So at this point, um, I obviously have expected you have done some more research than just using Google Earth, but after you have all the needed information, you have your distances, your uh, the goods and whatnot that was traded, um, the geography, the geographical natures of your capital uh, in Africa, and the you know the impacts on the New World, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know you know what I'm talking about. After you have all that, this is really important. You need to save your uh, your Google Map, sorry Google Earth file, and to do so, I need a specific file called a KML file. And I want you to go to File, and instead of going to, to uh, save just the basic one, we're going to go Save Place As, and then here you're going to call it, you know, Group England in my case, and then you're going to go .kml file at the bottom here. You're going to save that, and you're going to send that to me either um, through email or if you have a USB drive, be sure to give that to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload these all to my website and I'll have them all ready and I'm going to overlay them all together and what you'll have eventually is we'll overlay all the different routes from every group and we'll have quite quite a busy looking map I'm going to get a screenshot of that and I'll post that to my website so you can all see now remember this is to be presented to the class in a PowerPoint presentation rubrics and assessments you will already have at this point but again this tutorial is just used for those who a missed class or you're looking for additional information or help using the program I will obviously be more than happy to answer any questions you may have, so feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.